Hi Gemini, here's a reading for you and you only. Today I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross for you to see what you can expect in the near future. So, my angel spirit guides, what does Gemini need to know now? What's coming up for them? Welcome back all my subscribers by the way and welcome in newcomers. Gemini. Oh, okay. Gemini. Empress. A bit of stress in the past, ending a cycle, hoping for happiness, wow, three of wands and the queen of pentacles, that's a beautiful way to end. The wheel of fortune in your favor, um, Gemini, I do see that uh, some, some, there's some cycle of yours which is still open-ended but you are moving on towards uh, a, a, some big Mm, it's almost like something that's going to make you emotionally very, very happy. This is maybe, maybe being a continuous process. This is coming from the recent past. Maybe something you were stressed about and that's continuing. But um, it's crossed by the Ace of Cups, um, Gemini. Uh, you're coming into the Empress energy, which is uh, actually whatever you've been doing. Maybe till now you haven't seen the fruits of that effort that you've been putting in. But... Um, it's going to give give you a lot of rewards now maybe you've been stressed about it thinking well you know i've been trying 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 but nothing is happening but uh, i do see you moving away from any troubles that you've had and you're coming into this empress energy of yours uh, empress is not a man, man woman card it's just the energy of somebody being able to sit back and attract a lot of abundance a lot of joy a lot of fertility growth and abundance because you're ending this cycle now something that's been ongoing and causing you stress something ends and something is beginning so i'm going to now start clarifying the cards and then we'll go right till the end so spirit tell me what's uh, what's the basis of the situation why is the world card still in reverse why is the world card in reverse you've been stuck yes you have been stuck for a long time and you've been wishing and hoping for something which is going to make you really happy maybe till now it hasn't really fruitified or you've been feeling depleted or you feel you know things that in that that emotional happiness your cup is not being fulfilled but now it is crossed by the ace of cups which is in the upright which means well there's a new beginning coming for you and this one now is going to actually overflow your cup of happiness which you probably haven't got till now so on your mind is the six of swords what's that spirit what's the six of swords you've been wondering yes you've been wondering how do i leave all this trouble behind things just don't seem to pan out in my life this is ongoing ongoing when am i ever going to feel that sense of happiness well on your mind is how do i move away and move towards happiness peace joy and uh, just happier times right but that that energy i see coming here with the empress card i think uh, gemini you've done the work you've done the work and now things are going to start moving in a very quick fashion because of uh, all the effort i guess that you've made you are closing down a chapter which um wasn't very pleasant i would say so spirit what happened what happened in the recent past why was my gems having sleepless nights stress and tension nine of swords nine of swords uh, as much as i think you were trying to get power and control back of your own life uh, there was some blockage which was not allowing you to move forward uh, gemini maybe there was some new endeavor that you wanted to start it just wasn't kicking off the, the path wasn't clearing and that is what gave you a lot of stress and anxiety and now you kind of Right now, you could be sitting in that thing and to say, you know what, I'm feeling it's still not happened, Omkara Taro. What are you saying? I'm still trying to wonder how to leave this behind and move forward. But now, coming up is your Empress energy. Like I said, this is not a band woman card, Gemini. This is a uh, energy of somebody who not only is in full control of their life, but also can take a step back and start being in their magician energy where they can attract all good things coming into their life. So tell me, Spirit, more about this Empress energy. What's the Empress? Empress. Oh my God. Em um, Empress is clarified by the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. 
whatever this new cycle of yours is that you're going to be starting now gemini even though it may seem small right now you're starting from scratch or you know you don't see it uh, at the magnitude that it can be this this start is actually going to be really stable and it's going to make all your dreams and wishes come true nine of cups is a card of you know i did it by myself i had these goals i had my dreams and i've made all my dreams and wishes come true and uh, i do sense very very soon it could be like tomorrow or a week later this this old chapter of uh, feeling down and out is going to be over after 10 there are no well there is no 11th sword right you have to start with the ace of swords which i think in the recent past uh, was a bit slow in coming right you couldn't clear the path and you were feeling my new beginning is not happening i'm not feeling stable i want to take action i want to be in control of my life but when will it happen well it's coming up very soon and my my target is uh, from now till the end of the month mid month basically of may so well it should happen uh, latest by the end of the month so ten of, tell me about the ten of swords spirit what is uh, what is gemini ending what is this ten of swords yes <laughs> what you could not manifest in the past well you're going to be manifesting exactly that uh, i think you were manifesting a level of security safety maybe money or business or just feeling empowered where you didn't have to rely on anyone else maybe or have that level of uh, you know abundance that well you didn't have to feel like uh, when is it going to happen well that's that's what you're ending um, whatever you felt you couldn't manifest that that chapter is ending and you're going to be coming into this empress and this king of pentacles energy right so spirit tell me um, gemini gemini's card is again nine of cups my god this is what you're going to be very very soon if you aren't already gemini because this is on your mind this is in your position nine of cups and we've seen it already with the empress energy so spirit tell me more about this nine of cups for gemini nine of cups nine of cups okay Gemini spirit is saying if you've had any kind of disappointments in the past th these could be past disappointments where you felt you were not getting a breakthrough right it may have made you upset may have may have made you angry you may have kind of lost hope in the situation maybe you were also very very angry at certain times that why 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 when when am i going to achieve this level of success why am i not being seen uh, after putting in all this effort i think uh, well once this chapter shuts down you are going to get all your dreams and wishes come true um well when i see this card when i you know this is in the position of how people are going to be seeing you soon gemini they'll be seeing you in the queen of swords energy like a queen of swords uh, is uh, somebody who has their ducks in a row they don't take bullshit they don't give bullshit it's like very clear cut very focused energy where um, people will kind of see you that you are absolutely goal oriented and this time round well you're not going to let anyone have the better of you so people around you could be a little intimidated very soon by you uh, gemini saying that uh, well gemini is not going to now back down because they worked hard for whatever this was and now that things are working out in their favor now it's they are untouchable so why will people be saying uh, gemini in the queen of swords energy spirit because you've ended a chapter right you after this chapter that you end uh, gemini uh, i think you've learned your lesson this time you're going to be like head and shoulders above others and uh, anyone coming to you with any kind of nonsense gemini you'll have your wand up and say uh uh I've learned my lesson. I, I'm pushing away things or people or um, situations which are of no value to me. So people around you will be a little intimidated by you in a good way, in a good way because you've been through it and how, right? And uh, yes, it would be a good idea to have that wand up and you know, not allow anyone to bring you down anymore. So what is Gemini's biggest wish, spirit? three of wands what's the three of wands waiting for your ships to come in 
Yes, you're getting a little frustrated because you've been waiting for a very long time or you're hoping that uh, this level of frustration that you've been in, when, when, when will, when will I move on towards happier times? But uh, Spirit is assuring you, uh, you may feel that nothing has happened till now. But if you see this card very closely, Gemini, this person seems to be waiting, right? They, this person has done all the work. They've got their three wands. They wait, look standing at the bank of this river or sea or whatever, waiting for the ships to come in, which is bringing them all their happiness. What this person doesn't realize is that because of the work they've already done, these three wands have already started sprouting leaves on them. This person hasn't even noticed it. It's because of your own hard work, of the effort that you've put in, which you thought led you nowhere, is actually going to be the catalyst for all this good stuff to come in. Yes, I promise you, if this is on your mind, well, this is coming. You will be ending a painful chapter of your life or troubled times or uh, times when things were just not balancing out. You will be moving towards peace and happiness and harmony once again because I see you as the outcome card sitting in the queen of pentacles energy. Now the masculine or male uh, Gemini is watching. Yes, this card is for you as well. The only difference between a queen of pentacles and a king of pentacles energy, it's not a man or a woman the energy embodies that uh, queen king of pentacles yes has you know reaches the highest level of success and abundance but when you embody the queen of pentacles energy you have so much that you can not just take good care of yourself but you bring out the softer side in you as well where you have enough to share once you are satisfied then you can help others around you you can take care of your loved ones you can you know just be in a very comfortable look at this queen of pentacles she's very well dressed herself she holds this big pentacle but she sits in a very very comfortable space has a good home uh, is a good parent can take care of others around oh my god and there goes my phone i'm so sorry i'm just gonna switch it off one second okay ring her off okay spirit tell me more about this uh, queen of pentacles energy as the outcome Yes, after a period, after a period when I guess you uh, felt that this is never going to come, Gemini, that you have, you've been feeling that you haven't been given your due, uh, right now I feel as the cycle closes down, just don't give up hope, okay? Don't give up hope because the, the world is going to open up for you. The opportunities which are going to be coming your way, you'll be spoiled for choice right so it's going to be a wonderful time where things start to open up in such speed so don't get frustrated don't get impatient it's just a matter of any day now right you are ending an important chapter of your life where things will never be the same so wheel of fortune is in your favor Wheel of Fortune is in your favor and right under that I have the Three of Pentacles which is uh, things working out with the star card right under that which means all your dreams and wishes will come true. You are being guided in the right direction. So Spirit tell me about the Wheel of Fortune for Gemini today. What's this Wheel of Fortune for Gemini? How are things going to be changing for Gemini? Big transformation. I told you this. You see, you see in Tarot, we say one to ten is a full cycle, right? A full chapter of your life. And then once you have learned or been through the one, two, three, right till the ten, not an easy journey. But after that, things end. And when an ending happens, a brand new beginning starts as well. The Wheel of Fortune is going to begin again in your um, I don't know what side of this life of maybe this is financial maybe this is in your love life maybe this is general health and happiness so tell me what's what this transformation is going to bring for Gemini spirit what's this transformation coming for Gemini see I told you <laughs> star card Gemini I told you some major wish of yours is going to be coming true if not all I do see you see you sitting in the nine of cups energy very soon, which uh, tells me a person is sitting very chuffed and saying, yeah, all my dreams and wishes are coming true. You will be shining. You will be shining like a star once this newness starts to start, which I see is going to happen in 
now like it's in the this is the immediate future card right this is going to cause you to have a lot of happiness there'll be celebration there'll be joy and finally feeling relieved so spirit tell me what is the one affirmation that gemini should not forget in the coming few days so that their wheel of fortune turns quickly in their favor what's the affirmation for them which they must repeat or write down maybe some of you can write it down in the comment box i mean they say written word has a lot of power as well introspection okay so you get the card of introspection and your affirmation is i claim time and space for myself your angel guidance is to find quiet time for contemplation to look within it is time to withdraw and review your life see it's like a movie is ending so you sit you know you finish the movie now you take a little time and reflect on this past chapter of your life taking time and space to yourself gives you the opportunity to recuperate from life's challenges to reflect on the way ahead strengthen yourself and prepare for the next phase of your life wow i've got goosebumps during times of introspection you can become aware of your gifts your inner reserve and your wisdom it's time for healing still your mind still your mind and quieten your emotions ask for your angel wings to enfold you and provide you with a safe haven to which to relax then you can listen to the promptings of your angel inspiring and guiding you yes you are moving on to a brand new chapter of your life i can promise you that gemini and it's coming up really soon so just take some time out to review what you've been through what you've learned what you what you want to take forward with you and what you want to leave behind your next phase of your life is coming up which is going to be wonderful for you i see lots of your dreams and wishes coming true lots of opportunities opening up for you and yes major wishes coming true as well reason to celebrate very soon all right so that's what i have for you gems love and light take care namaste